just straighten that up. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. This is episode number 779. And the topic today is about emptiness. And the question is, are you feeling empty? I'm gonna explain why that may be happening and also what to do about it effectively so you don't feel that way anymore. So before I jump into the topic and explain what I'm about and why this might be relevant to you, because I'm thinking it might be, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and then we'll get into this topic at hand. So, and also explain why I do these talks. So hi, my name is Barry Selby, in case you haven't seen my broadcast before, because I do this every day. So in case you missed them, this is my daily thing. I'm jumping ahead. My name is Barry Selby. I am the best-selling author of 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a powerful principles, 50 principles, in fact, for healthy relationships for singles and couples, men and women. I'm also an inspirational speaker and a relationship attraction expert helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work with women, and also I do these talks I've done now for over two years called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And today we're episode number 779. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them. And at the back end of the broadcast, I'll give you uh, the links of where you can find my replays so you can catch my broadcast later on. These are Facebook Live, by the way, first of all, in case you're wondering if you see people, if I, if I respond to people in the broadcast, you know why, because if you're watching from somewhere else, you go, who's he talking to? I'll attempt to respond, re um, reiterate what they say so you know what I'm responding to. I think that made sense. So if you're watching me live on Facebook, you can interact directly. If you're watching in the replay on Facebook, you can comment afterwards, same as you can on YouTube. So the topic today is, finally, um, do you feel empty or do you feel empty, are you feeling empty at different times? Based on the term emptiness, duh. And what causes it, why you might be doing it, and what we can do about fixing it so you don't have that problem anymore. Yes, I'm giving you solutions. So first of all, the emptiness comes from this, um, sorry, the, the experience you may be feeling of emptiness could happen from relationship issues or could happen from just life issues, meaning that you may get very excited about something or somebody and you get invested, involved, doing something about it. Maybe you go buy something at the store or you go meet somebody special or you have a new date. But after a period of time, there's a fading of the excitement, put it that way. For example, you go to the store and you get this one thing you've been looking for for ages and you get it home and then after about three months, it's gone in it's the back of the closet or it's in the back of the cupboard or it's never been used again. There's a sense of emptiness because you were trying to fill yourself up from that thing that you got. Same is true of relationships, that you feel that with this person, you'll feel so much better, but after a period of time, that feeling goes away and you feel empty again. This, this shift is not just about relationships, as I mentioned, it's about things as well, because we have this bad habit as human beings to look outside to get filled up, to look outside to have that satisfaction, to look outside to avoid the emptiness. The fallacy we live under, well, yeah, the fallacy, well, I'm just trying to play with this because I, I don't want to leak the answer too quickly. I want to tantalize it just a little bit longer. Um, the, the challenge is that we have this external reference, as I mentioned. We keep looking outside ourselves to have that fulfillment, joy, celebration, um, filling up so we don't feel empty anymore, that paradigm. But here's the thing. The sense of emptiness is false. Yeah, the sense of the sense of sense of emptiness is false because there isn't. I say another way. We've been trained by our culture to keep looking for fulfillment from outside ourselves, so we keep believing that the only way we're going to be fulfilled is from outside ourselves, because the marketing really works. I'm here to spread a different message, which is a reminder that you are never actually empty, meaning that you don't need to be fulfilled from outside. In fact, being fulfilled from inside is the the key, the answer, the tool, the method, the pathway to be free of that outside reference. In fact, it's the way to be free to have everything you want in life out there, but from a healthy place of additive experience versus replacing something you think you're missing. And this is the thing we're doing is that we've been trained by the society that we live in to keep looking out there to be fulfilled by what's out there so I can have that thing, that thing, this thing, that thing, give me that, give me this, I feel happy. And then it goes away again. You know, like, go get some more, go get some more, go date some more, go have some more sex, go meet someone new, something new, all these different things we keep doing to feel filled up. And then when that's over and you're empty again, it's like, damn, I didn't get it. The thing is, you never will get it when you go out there, whatever that it is, well, that it being fulfillment. 
So I'm going to give you something that is a lifelong journey, <laughs> sorry, but also is a v very powerful way to start your reminder that you don't need anything else. And this is the thing. We are perpetually um, inundated by messages from magazines, media, movies, marketing, all these M's, to seek fulfillment outside. And in my spiritual studies, that was one of the things that I was really getting clear about in all the work I've done over the last 30 plus years, and being a, being a spiritual counselor for the last 20, I found myself be very, um, to be regularly reminded that I am already fulfilled as I am. And I'm not anything special, like I'm not unique about that. That's everybody's possibility. And I'm not saying if you do 20 years of study or 20 years of spiritual counselor, I'm giving you the shortcut here. This is, uh, this is my gift to you, so take it. When you start to being yourself present to yourself, and this is one of the keys, by the way, is being present inside yourself. So instead of looking out there, comparing yourself, judging, com always, always chasing the thing out there, when you come back to yourself and you stay present inside yourself, meaning you say, hi, I'm home. Hi, honey, I'm home. Sort of thing, to become home to yourself. Then what happens is you start to become fulfilled. It's almost like when you come into a house and you turn the lights on, you go, oh, nice. Well, hopefully you do. The reality is when you come home to yourself, it's like putting the lights back on. Because you may have been so driven to keep seeking out there, whether it's the career, the vocation that you were trained to do when you were at school or by your parents, or the relationship you keep seeking that's never fulfilling because it doesn't fulfill you fully. doesn't fulfill you fully. That was an interesting F. It's the same thing. It's that looking around to find the way. In. It's like looking into the house but never knowing the light switch is there. You're outside all the time looking to try and feel fulfilled. If you just simply open the door and come inside and turn the light on, that's an interesting metaphor I'm using, but that's what it's working. Then you'll continually be connected to your source, yourself, your fulfillment. I would call it spirit, you can call it whatever you want. But the truth is that fullness is inside of you. So you don't need anything outside. You don't need me or anybody else for that matter, although we'll offer, we'll, we'll offer some recommendations to get you there. I don't, I don't want to disconnect my opportunity, but I also don't want to keep saying I'm the only way because I'm, I'm not the expert. I'm not the only one on this, this path. I have done this work so many other people have too. But I want to let you know that all of us have that freedom to remember there's nothing out there for us to get anyway. Self-reflection, self-support, self-care, self-love, all these things I keep teaching, there's a reason for this. When you come back to yourself, you come into the house, turn the lights on as I use the analogy, you realize that nothing outside is as important as what's inside. Now, what's outside is great, and having great relationships is great. I'm not going to deny that at all. In fact, I'm going to say the way to get all those things out there to be more joyful and more fulfilling and more playful and more fun, especially relationships, is to really fulfill the one inside. That relationship, the one you have inside, is where the real power lies. Because when you reconnect to that one, because you may have forgotten to, or you build back up the one you may be depleted over time, you realize, first of all, you never were empty in the first place. You're just absent from your home. But when you come back to yourself and you reconnect to your source, which is inside, by the way, not out there. Oh, do I want to? Yeah, all right, I'll go there in a minute. Okay, just had a flash. I'll come, I'll come to that one in a minute. When you come inside to yourself and you reconnect to who you are, you realize that everything you need is inside. Yes, the things you want to get outside, like food and other things too. Yeah, I understand that. But the beingness, your feeling fulfillment comes from inside. Okay, the piece of on the side I have to, I have to jump into because I'm going to throw this one out just to piss some people off. <sighs> I said about who we're sourced inside, our spirits inside, we're connected to that place inside. I use the term spirit, that's what works for me. Call it God if you wish. One of the... <laughs> I don't want to say this. It's one of the problems. One of the fallacies, one of the lies that's been told to you since you were very young, if not before even, by the religious teachings of the world, because most of them do this, is they keep telling you that the source of your love, God, spirit, fulfillment, is some guy on a throne up in the clouds outside of you. I'm calling bullshit on that, to be blunt. I'm calling that absolute fake lies falsehood because from what I've studied, and I know I'm a heretic for those people who want to judge me, for, uh, so be it. So, as I've already told you, I'm Jewish, not Christian, so I don't have a, a, a complex on that. But the thing is that the realization is that the teachings that the religions keep putting on top, religions keep religions keep putting on top of you to say to you, "Oh, you won't be fulfilled because God's outside of you, judging you, and you're and you, you've been sinning and all this sort of stuff." Bull, 
Shit, then I'll use the term again. Who you are is a divine being, divine being. As the, um, the statement says, it's in the Bible, frankly, we, we were created in the image and likeness of God. God isn't judgy, sorry, God isn't crappy, God isn't sinful, God isn't bad. We made the same image. So if you want to use that analogy, I'm not saying you should, but if you want to use that analogy, then you're just as beautiful, just as powerful, just as holy, just as infinite as God itself. Because the Bible says so. And again, I've already shut the Bible down so many times, but I'm not going to get into a whole religious fight over it. But my point is to make, getting back to my point, <laughs> is that even using that as a reference, you remember you're already divine. And when you come back to yourself, you remember who you are, and you believe the truth that you are already whole. Because it is the truth then that emptiness goes away. But the emptiness dissipates because the emptiness has no power. It's not even real. But then what happens is you can then pursue your life of exploration, expansion, experience, and, ex and exuberance. Lots of these. I'm doing things in force today, I don't know why. By going out of the world from a place of wholeness. Every single relationship in your life will transform when you do this because every single relationship won't feel dragged down by you needing them to feel whole. Because you already know you're whole, those relationships thrive more easily. Every relationship will transform. Yes, everyone. And the key, of course, is you opening the door into your own heart, unlocking it, or go inside, turn the light on, as I said as an analogy. Some ways you can do that, because I'll give you some ideas, is, well, some things that I offer in my coaching. I have a self-love meditation practice I've talked about, talked about quite often. It's one of those tools, because part of the coming back to yourself is to remember that you're loving. And the first person who deserves that loving is you. So find a way to do it. I recommend my course because I've, I've used it enough times. I've used it for my clients and I've created it for you to use. But it doesn't have to be that. Anything you can use, you can use. Loving yourself, remembering who you are, appreciating your beingness is where you start the journey. So my self-love practice, I'll put a link in the comments and check it out. It's a guided meditation with two audio tracks. You can do an AM, PM, AM, PM meditations. Also, my coming home to yourself, of course, because a lot of what the work I'm doing with my clients now, and I think you need to remember this yourself, is that coming home to yourself is the answer. Coming home to yourself is where the joy is. Coming home to yourself is where all the tools are for you to be fulfilled. And so the coming home to, coming home to yourself course I'm creating is a group program, which is a, uh, it's, in a beta t it's preparing for a beta test. It's actually not released yet. It will be as soon as I fill the, fill the course. And it's a pay what you want because I'm making it uh, unpriced at this point. I'll put the link in the comments for that as well. Um, and if you want to reach out and get some deeper coaching and that stuff like that, um, people can't sign up. You can't sign up for coaching with me off the bat. You have to sit down and have a chat with me. So I'll put a link in the comments for the chat so you can have a, comp a complimentary clarity conversation with me so we can sort things out. So those will be in the comments, those four things. Yes, my book will be in there as well. Um, and just a reminder this is where it starts. Coming home to yourself, being in yourself, loving yourself is one, how you dispel the false appearance of emptiness but also where everything starts to turn around because you fall in love with who you are and that's a good thing by the way I, it's absolutely powerful when you learn to love yourself appreciate yourself and remember that you are worthy deserving and full because you are I thought that one before as well and then everything else changes so I think this has made my point clear enough <laughs> um, if this makes sense, I trust it does. I f I feel free to add any comments, questions, thoughts below. If you don't know what I'm talking about exactly, you want to ask questions, you can do that as well. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, as I do, as I said before, I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, um, which is Barry Selby. The replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, and to my YouTube channel, so you find them in both places. My business page on Facebook is barryselby.author. Please like my page, and you can definitely watch them there. Or you go to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my channel. And on there is a playlist called Messages from the Mask, and we can sort through and find the ones you want to look at. YouTube, I think, is easier to search through than Facebook, but you can go either place, depending on what you're using. Um, this will be on YouTube later on as well. And again, if you have any questions, comments, you can do that after the broadcast here, here being wherever you're watching it, which is either YouTube or Facebook. And uh, I'm here to help. You are full of being yourself when you're willing to let that in, let the joy and the light in, the fullness in, and accept who you are. Then you can have everything you want. That's the sequence I teach. That's what I do with my clients, and that's what you can have as well. I think that's about it. 
I appreciate you watching as always and thank you for being with me if you're live on the replay if you want to put comments and let you know let me know you're here that's great I appreciate that and I will be back in tomorrow new topic new time new topic new day same time same channel I thank you for watching I'll see you again tomorrow take care bye